When it first started growing, I felt confused, really embarrassed, and really low confidence and low self-esteem. And I just wanted to hide. People would make fun of me and send notes with pictures of razors. It was in that moment that I realized that I do in fact deserve to be seen. The significance of coming here today really is to celebrate my beard. She's never been celebrated, and so this is kind of a celebration for her. I don't have full control over what's gonna happen. This is my first time having my beard trimmed. Yeah? Yeah. I was 16 years old when I first started growing hair on my face. I was really shocked, and I didn't understand why. I was in my early 20s when I was diagnosed with PCOS. PCOS is an endocrine disorder that creates a hormone imbalance in the bodies of people who have ovaries. There are so many symptoms of PCOS. Uh, there's um, cysts on your ovaries. Um, there's hirsutism, which means excessive hair growth on your face or on different parts of your body that are typically um, places where men grow hair. When it first started growing, I felt confused uh, and really embarrassed and really low confidence and low self-esteem. And I just wanted to hide. There were a lot of negative comments. Um, people would make fun of me and send notes with pictures of razors. Um, at work, I've been yelled at by customers in customer service, um, yelled at by employees that I had to let go, um, yelled at about my facial hair. I waxed it, um, I tried uh, like a cream removal um, and shaved. I avoided going out as much as humanly possible because in order to go out, I had to remove the hair and it felt like removing the hair, I was becoming someone else or trying to be someone else. So I would stay home so that I could just be myself. There are so little women out there wearing their facial hair, then it's easy for society to uh, pretend that, that we don't exist. One day I was sitting in the van at the grocery store and my aunt saw me, came over to the van, looked at me, and quickly said to my uncle, you don't need to see this. It was in that moment that I realized that I do in fact deserve to be seen. After that incident, I came out online and I grow a beard. The reaction online was great. People were really supportive. When I met Marty, who is now my ex-partner, uh, I did tell him about my facial hair because it's quite a bit to hide. We met through a mutual friend. I called you on the phone and said, nice to phone meet you. Yeah, and then we went to karaoke and the rest is history. The time that Genevieve told me about her facial hair was the week that we met, within days of meeting, uh, we were at my place and um, she just blurted it out. We joke now that I was living vicariously or trying to live vicariously through her beard with my own, with my own you know, inner wants and I'm a trans man. I was definitely nervous when I told Marty and quickly set at ease. She's a beautiful woman. We were having a good time, facial hair, didn't change how I was feeling about you at the time and how I feel about you still. Our son is, his name is Duncan and he is three and he loves everything trucks. I hope that me embracing my beard uh, affects Duncan in a way that allows him to be his full self and that he is able to be compassionate and loving with himself. So I want to tell you about something that I'm going to do. I'm gonna go to a barber shop and oh. have my beard trimmed. Right on. That's a great idea. What, yeah. what are they gonna do? Get a trim. Okay. Tame her down a bit. All right, good. <laughs> Tame her down a bit. Are you surprised or not surprised? You're not one to usually go to the like beauty shops or anything like that. Daddy. Yes. Mama got a bit dead on the young for minutes. Okay. <laughs> for 40 minutes? It's gonna be a long trim. Do you like mommy's beard? Say <laughs> <laughs> it, 
This is different because it feels um, like a little bit vulnerable because I don't have full control over what's going to happen. I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't ever had my beard trimmed before, so I don't know what to expect. The worst case scenario would be that it's shorter than expected. Hey, come on in. You can throw your bag up there if you'd like. Grab a seat. This is my first time having my beard trimmed. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, all right. Do you use any products in your beard? Um, I use a little bit of beard oil sometimes. Definitely recommended. I've been a barber about five years. I've never done a beard on a woman before, but gender doesn't matter. It's the same as a man's. My recommendation is to take a little bit here because what this is doing is adding width to your face. Is this weird? No, it feels really comfortable. It's nice. <laughs> I can see it taking shape and I'm getting excited. Good. So what do you think? I love it. I think it looks great. Five years ago, I would have never thought I would be sitting here getting this done. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you came in. Thank you. Yeah, I feel really proud of my beard. I feel like she's fancy and she's like looking good. She adds to me and my femininity quite well. The advice and insight that I want to give to other women who have facial hair, you are not alone. There are many of us. It is possible to learn to love it. I do love it. I do love my beard. I do. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.